Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 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 It's a Wednesday, family. It's Wednesday, and guess what? This coyote woke up to a bunch of snow. Seriously, family, so much snow is outside. It is beautiful. I took a picture this morning. I will share my picture with you, family. So that means it's a snow day. So if you're in Albuquerque, New Mexico, you definitely got a message. The University of New Mexico is on a two hour delay, family. Yes, a two hour delay. Okay, I don't know how to share that with you, family, but let's do that. Yes, look how beautiful. There's so much snow outside. So also family, this is your public service announcement for the day. If you are in New Mexico, in Albuquerque in particular family, we do not, I repeat, we do not know how to drive in snow. And there's accidents and crazy things happen. So if you are any way possible, family, please stay home and be safe, at least until the roads are clear, right? As soon as brother's son comes out, um, he's going to melt some of that snow for us. We want to make sure that everyone stays safe. And this coyote literally got stuck in a snowstorm my truck baby my baby truck 15 it's um, a gmc 1500 i love my my baby um gmc 1500 sierra anyways and she could not <laughs> she's um a rear rear wheel drive she couldn't make up the hill family i was stuck on san pedro trying to go over the little bridge right by the mall could not go anywhere so I'm just saying that's what a little bit of snow can do to Albuquerque, New Mexico. So stay safe, stay home. And if you're on a two hour delay, enjoy that shit. <laughs> For real, enjoy that. If you are a youth by chance, you will grow up and adulting doesn't come with uh, two hour delays. <laughs> Unless you work in education. If you're a teacher, then maybe you will. <laughs> Ah, family, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday, and I have been stressed out. Ah! <laughs> Do it with me, family. Get all of that frustration and rage and ah! Join me. Ah! Ah! Let it out, family. Ah! Let it go. Let us let go of our frustration. Because COVID has been making me crazy. Stress is real, family, right? Nothing slowed down. Absolutely nothing slowed down for COVID. So every day when I look at my giant to-do list on my board and it goes longer and longer, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, world, what the fuck? What is going on and why are you treating humans like robots? Just saying, family, every once in a while, we got to let go. So join me, family. This coyote is learning how to let it go. Let go of the stress. Let go of the things that I cannot control. I cannot control all those crazy people out there. What I can control is my little self, my attitude, and what I get done in the day. So family, join me in reclaiming our lives. And also, you know what? I am going to start... Um, my chair yogas with hitting my favorite tool family. And you know, coyotes are always about tools. Don't forget, I am a medical marijuana activist, researcher, revolutionary. This is butane hash oil family. And this is in a form called cheddar. And it breaks off really easily. It shatters like glass, right? Shatter glass, that's what this is called. So I'm gonna break off a little piece like this. Hopefully it won't break off into my computer. And I have a little piece like this. And I'm going to drop it into my rig. This is Mr. Monopoly. He looks like Mr. Monopoly. And this is the Terminator. Hmm, please forgive. I know. I have to wash it, family. I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my butane hash lighter. My butane hash. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to take my butane. Butane. Uh, I call it my flamethrower, family. <laughs> it's a little tiny kitchen torch. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. Amazon, online, Walmart. Um, any sort of hardware store, right? So I'm warming up Mr. Monopoly. Getting ready for our yoga. Getting ready for our yoga. Oh yeah, family. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna do some yoga. We're gonna smoke some weed. We're gonna chill out and talk about plans for world domination through humanizing edgical change. 
educational change. <laughs> I like my funny songs, you guys. It's hilarious, though, because I do. I sing to myself all day long. My partner thinks it's hilarious. He's like, does the coyote have a new song? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do. Because I sing about my life, family. I'm just a sing-song kind of person. Warming up, warming up. If you can, okay, you can't really see, but it's kind of getting red. It's getting redder. I want it to get red. You probably don't have to warm it up as much as I do, family. But I get paranoid, so I like it nice and hot. I have a tool, and I'm going to stick that butane hash oil piece that I got out earlier and put on my tool, and I'm going to put it in my hot rig. I'm going to balance this on my knee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that was the first half of my dose of medication. Now I'm going to pick up the second half. <clears throat> you don't want to put too much shatter in there, family, because it will overwhelm it. And then if you can see down here, some muck has literally dripped down there. <clears throat> That's because I've, um, hold on, one second. That was because I put too much in there. And when it melted and overflowed, it actually dripped down into the water bong itself, family. And this is, whoa, hot. Don't forget. This is very hot family. So I accidentally grabbed it by here and I burned myself a little bit. So please be careful. <coughs> this is a tool, just like any other tool, and this coyote's superhero armor. So family, I have a question for you. Do I look like a criminal? Do I, do I really look like a criminal? Because that is what the United States government and legislatures across the country have been trying to do Two people who smoke medical marijuana or recreational marijuana, family. <clears throat> the war on drugs was never about drugs. And we know that, family, because our prisons are full, right? We created the school to prison pipeline, the prison industrial complex. And unfortunately, our empire is fed off of that profit. The potato industry, family. We have literal um, maquiladoras. So, in Mexico, right? They have sweatshops. <coughs> and we're like, oh, look at other countries. How dare they have this near slave labor and the sweatshops and this capitalism? And then we still buy the Nikes. United States, we do the same thing, family, except um, we outsource it into prisons. So there are phone centers. Uh, you know, when you're calling to go check on your credit card bill, you might actually be calling into a penitentiary or state institution within the US. <clears throat> so I'm just saying, family, we are not criminals. There are people who are trapped in cycles of poverty on purpose because of capitalism. So family, this is your daily reminder. If everything is not okay right now, it's not you. It is COVID, it's capitalism, it's racism, it's bigotry, it's white supremacy. There are a lot of things that are affecting our lives that we had no control over. This coyote was born into a world that did not love me as a two-spirited warrior with my own independent mind. I walk the path of my ancestors' family proudly every single day. And I am on a mission to transform this world, to force change on this world, because that is how it's done, family. Nothing changes because they want to, especially giant institutions <coughs> and our, on our laws like the United States. I'm just saying, family, dream big for me. What if we stop ping-ponging ourselves back and forth in four-year terms? <coughs> what if, family, <coughs> right? This coyote is gonna be president of the United States by the time I'm 64. These are my platforms, family. I am running for president of the United States, and these are my promises. We need to change the work week. First of all, we need a four-day work week. We already work 10-hour days, family. Let's just get it all done in four days. We have to change the schedule between the haves and the have-nots, between the people in this country who have full-time wages and the people who are trapped legislatively, legally, by policy into part-time jobs. Because corporations have tax breaks 
when they don't have full-time employees. So I'm just saying, family, we need to revamp how we look at work in this country and how people are compensated and change the laws that have the divide between part-time and full-time employees. Not to mention family, what the fuck is with universal health care? I thought COVID would finally bring that about. But unfortunately, family, we need to make that a reality. And that comes with capping how much companies can profit off of human life. That includes all of the hospitals. That includes all of these giant monopolies of health professional groups we have. That includes pharmaceutical companies, family. And that includes figuring out how to serve our people who include veterans, who include our elderly, who include um, our vulnerable populations like our children who receive um, WIC services and foods, um, uh, excuse me, family, TANF services. These are all humanizing change that we have realized are now a part of all of our lives. It is our moral responsibility to take care of every single human within our boundaries. We are bound by morality, family. Fuck policy. We need to do what's right for human beings. So don't forget, family, to vote for this coyote when you see my name sometime soon on a ballot for president of the United States. Right now, I'm going to just try to graduate <laughs> with my PhD family. I am going to try to make my consulting company um, get off the ground. I am going to continue to love and lift up my global family as an academic, revolutionary, author, blogger. I'm going to hit 21,000 followers this week, family. I'm pretty excited. I'm like at 20,912 or something like that. So this coyote's got some big dreams. Why don't you come with me on the ride? Let's dream big. That's why I love being an academic family. That's what we get to do. We get to think of theories about how to change the world. We get to challenge policy and write books. I get to write books. I grew up to be able to write books. I do make my gammy proud every single day. And when together we are changing the world, family. I got ups and I got downs, but <laughs> that's what makes me a human person. Right? We are all human. The world just doesn't like to acknowledge it. Thank you, family, for letting this coyote get all philosophical this morning. <coughs> I think a lot. I mean, that's what a theorist does, right? <coughs> we think about our past. We think about our present. We think about how to change the future, not only for ourselves, though, but on a fundamental, huge level, right? If you go and become a teacher, you do it with purpose. You have a calling to help open the world to other people through education. And that in itself is a gift and an awesome responsibility. I've had the honor of teaching thousands of students here in New Mexico, at Laguna Middle School, South Valley Academy, Brookline College, New Mexico Highland School of Social Work, and the University of New Mexico. <sighs> and many of them are my followers and my family. So thank you guys all for sharing my journey. It's been a long journey. And I think I'm reflective because it's my birthday on Saturday. I'm gonna be 41 years old. I'm old. <laughs> and with that, I hope maturity came. I hope more wisdom came. But I'm just so grateful to all of you and everything you have each done to support and lift me up because it has been hard. But I love you. All right, family, let's go do our yoga. <laughs> <coughs> One and 
and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today we have an awesome chair yoga sequence for you. So you're going to need a chair, and preferably one with no arms. Hop into something comfy, and let's get started. I'll be right back, family. All right, my friends. Thank you for choosing this practice. Let's begin. Sit up nice and tall. You want to get to where your feet are firmly planted on the floor, so your whole foot's on the ground. And if, if that's not happening for you, then you can bring some pillows or some blankets or just find something, get creative, to bring uh, the earth up to your feet. So you can pause the video and do that. And then if you're leaning back in your chair, go ahead and sit up tall. We'll start to just slowly activate the muscles that help us find length up through the spine. So inhale, lengthen through the crown. Imagine a little marionette string just pulling you up from the crown. And let your hands just rest gently wherever is natural, on the knees, on the thighs. Then inhale deeply as you lift your heart. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down your back body. So you're just bringing more awareness and more integrity into the body, but specifically to this line of the spine, right? This plumb line, this center channel. There's all of these meridians of energy, or in yoga we call them the nadis. Um, not naughty, but naughty. And they run through the spine, right? Sometimes we refer to the major points as chakras, but whatever, family. whatever you want to rock in your mind and in your body, we're just gonna take some time to breathe, to slow it down and find mobility in a way that's soft and gentle, but also really supportive and beneficial. So when you're ready, we'll start with the soles of the feet. Lift the toes, press all four corners of the feet down, then lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. And one more time, lift the toes. Spread the toes and release. Great. Lift the heels one at a time. And then feel that tone, that engagement of the quad. Lift the heels. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Lift your heart. Open your mind to a new experience. And then lower the heels. Here we go. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, lift the heels. Sit up nice and tall and exhale lower. Inhale, lift the heels. And exhale lower. One more time. Inhale, lift the heels. And exhale lower. Awesome. Inhale, extend right leg out just as much as you can. So you don't have to come the full extension unless it goes there, then great. But just bring it up as much as you can. We're engaging our muscles here. So draw the navel in and up a bit. And you're just going to spread the toes here, flex the foot, and then point the foot. Flex and point. Just it's all connected. One moving part. Flex and point. Flex and point. Two more times. Flex and point. Flex it up nice and tall and point. And now here we go. Rotating big circles here as you bring it down one way and then the other. Cool. Other side. Extend the left leg out. So find your extension today. Engage muscles of the core to support the back. Sit up nice and tall. Here we go. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. One more time. Flex and point. And then rotating circles as you bring it down. Rotate the ankle one way and then the other. And then your foot comes down to the ground. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Interlace the fingertips. You're going to grab the right knee and slowly squeeze and lift. So imagine that femur bone. We're kind of squeezing everything in. You can use the chair to ground down and then lift up here. So we're not here, but we're doing our best to lift up through the armpit chest and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so everyone's will be a little bit different here. If you can't quite squeeze, you can bring a little towel, like a dish towel even, to be extensions of your arms here and hold it here. Squeeze. And then one more breath here, squeezing and lifting. And then take that right 
shin and you're gonna cross it over the top of the left thigh. Then flex your right foot here. Bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right foot if you can. And then bring your right hand to the top of your right thigh. And we create this figure four here. And then sit up nice and tall. Now, if you want to deepen this and you're practicing with me and you want a little more, you can bring it to the elbow crease here and lift the leg up. Okay, but there's really no need to push it. Great. One more breath. Fabulous. We're going to come back to the squeeze. So interlace the fingertips around your right knee. Squeeze. Then we're going to slowly extend the right leg out long. So you're going to slide your hands now to the back, to the, to the hamstring, to the back of the leg, and extend it out super long, 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 and then bring it all the way down. Fabulous. Other side. Interlace. Here we go, left knee squeezes in and up. Couple yummy breath cycles here. So you really gotta bring the breath. Squeeze and lift. Just working where you are today, appreciating your body. In all its glory, all its beauty, all its limitations, be thankful for this body that you have. It's the only one you got. So it's never too late to instill this relationship of kindness and love with your body. When you're ready, we're going to squeeze and lift one more breath. And then we'll flex the foot and cross it over, creating that figure four shape on the other side. Grab your foot. And then left hand is going to come down to just gently guide the top of the thigh bone there around and down. So I've been practicing yoga for a long time and, and the benefits are really wonderful. So I'm able to sit up tall here. But I just want to honor and recognize and let you know if, if you're finding that you're sweating a little bit here, just sitting up tall, you can one, rest in the chair or use your breath. Inhale, breathe into your belly. And exhale, relax your shoulders to slowly start to build more stability right around this spinal column. So you can sit up tall and have a posture that isn't causing pain. A conscious posture. Take one more breath wherever you are here. Something that's sustainable, sustainable posture. Cool, then interlace the fingertips. Come back to the squeeze, the big squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then slide, interlace fingertips behind, slide them behind, and when you're ready, extend your extension. Extend the left leg as long as you can. Inhale, and exhale, slowly lower down. Beautiful. Hands are gonna come back to the tops of the thighs. Resituate, reset with a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful. Right hand comes to the outer left thigh. And you're gonna bring your left fingertips either to the back of the chair or maybe you swing it all the way around. You're just gonna find a little gentle twist here. You can come up onto the toes if you like for a little more leverage. Breathing deep. Imagine your inhale really traveling down to your belly. So we're not breathing up, but we're breathing down. And then come back to center, take it to the other side, nice and slow. Twist, release, flushing the body. And if you really want the benefits of a twist, use that directional breath, right? Don't breathe up, but breathe. Send that breath all the way down. Cool beans. Bring it back to center. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze and lift. And release. One more time. And release. Awesome work. Drop the chin to the chest. Stay here, breathing deep. Wrap the shoulder blades around the back body. So really firm the shoulder blades behind your heart space. And then inhale, lift the chin parallel to the earth again. And exhale, left ear over left shoulder. 
Stay here, breathe deep. Great, inhale back up to center. Exhale, right ear over right shoulder. Tag a little weight in the elbows here, my friends. Breathe deep. Awesome, inhale, come back up to center. Here we go. We're gonna slowly bring the feet over towards the right of the chair. And then you're going to bring your right foot. We're going into a warrior two, a supported warrior two. You bring your right foot firmly to the ground, front knee over front ankle. And then you're going to use your core strength. So think up, draw the energy up. Navel draws in and up to slowly walk. And you can also use your hand on the chair to slowly walk your foot out, turn the left toes in, and then slide back. So your hamstring is supported here. Virabhadrasana two with the chair. Whoa. And then just stay here, feel it out. Really drop your center, turn the left toes in. And then you can stay here with hands on the chair. Breathing deep, pull that right hip crease back. So that squeeze move we did here, imagine that. And then hands can stay on the chair or maybe we send the fingertips out. Really working from the ground up here, lifting the chest. Now, if this is not if this is not available to you, then so if, if you're here, then breathe deep directional breath. Then you're just going to bring one foot forward, kind of creating a right angle, and then the right foot to the side. So one foot forward, one to the side, and work here. So wherever you are, directional breath, breathing deep, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Think about lift, lifting all four sides of the torso here. So the front, the back, and both side bodies, nice and long. Take one more breath, you got this. I know the arms are tired, you got this. And then exhale, bring the hands to your heart. And make your way back to center. Use your feet on the earth to come all the way back. So stay connected to the ground. Great, let's try the other side, really nice work. So we'll walk the, so we'll release the hands. We'll walk the feet towards the left. Just check it out. Plant the left foot firmly and then start to walk the right foot back. You can use the chair to guide you. Turn the right toes in, really press into the outer edge of that back foot. And then use the chair to really support the belly of the hamstring here. And then open up through the hips. Lift and lengthen all four sides of the torso. Maybe you keep the hands down or maybe you send the fingertips out. If you feel good there, stay there. Or maybe you bring the foot back and this is better for you, creating this 90 degree angle with the tops of the thigh bones and breathing deep. Okay, inhale, lots of love in. Love your body. Love this <laughs> life. Explore space. So reach way beyond the fingertips here. Take energy way out beyond the physical posture. Notice where you might be gripping or holding. Soften. And we'll take one more breath. Breathing really down, down, down into the belly. And then exhaling, hands to heart. Awesome work. Here we go. Use the toes, feet on the ground to come back to center. Take your time, take your time. Wonderful. Then walk um, your bum just a little bit closer to the edge than we had before. And we'll inhale, sit up nice and tall, release the hands. And then keep this upward current of energy. Think up and over. So actually imagine you were holding a beach ball here at your belly. So you have a big, big ball here, and you're gonna go up and over into a forward fold. Nice and slow. When you're ready, the spine starts to round. You can release the fingertips wherever it feels comfortable. And you're gonna bring your head towards your knees. Now you might just get this far. You might stay up pretty tall. You might need to make adjustments with where you're sitting on the chair, but you want to get to a place where you can take some solid, delicious, feel good, let go breaths. And as you inhale in here, my friends, 
Feel the skin of the back body stretch. Can you experiment with that? Can you feel the rise and the fall? Let the breath move you. Take one more cycle of breath. Let it be full. And then first bring the hands up to the thighs. Then plant the feet firmly. Really feel the feet pressing into the earth as you tuck the chin and slowly roll it up. And then as you roll it up, feel that flash of energy, the blood flow opposite direction. And if you need to, if that was a, a big move for you, you can bring the hands to the chair for a little more stability, a little grounding. In case you got a little dizzy or a little head rush. Great, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Again, inhale in through the nose, come on. Exhale, let something go. And one more time, let's sigh it out. Inhale with sound. Wonderful, open your eyes. Take a little moment to just notice how you feel. Tap into a little inner smile, maybe even lift the corners of your mouth slightly. Then we'll bring the hands together at the heart to seal our practice. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with We did it, we did it, we did it, did it, did it, oh yeah. That was 17 minutes of bliss. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize for assaulting your eardrums this morning, but I'm a happy coyote. <laughs> Family, guess what happened? When I was <laughs> literally bent over, right, and we're, we're, we're stretching, an idea came to me. I had been stress, stressing out so much. I have to raise $30,000. It was $40,000 and now it's $30,000. And now I think I could do it for fifteen. dollars family. I think I could do it for $15,000. And then I was stressing because I had a $15,000 budget and I had blown it because we had promised during COVID to provide $50 stipend to our 85 panelists and for us to cover registration with a no shame, no questions asked policy, right? Because during COVID, at $260 to pay for your registration fee if you're a professor is a lot of money. And we're asking, hey, can you share your expertise with us? Um, so in an effort to be humanizing, especially during COVID, we decided to offer that. And there were 85 people who, who took us up on that offer. And so that is what I would call soft funds. <laughs> right? Those are internal funds. That would have been money that we would have generated in revenue. But technically, there's not a real loss, right? There's not a real cost. It's not really going to somewhere. Yes, there are other costs associated with them generally attending the conference, but it is being absorbed by the other, you know, 9,000 people who are registered on ground, literally. So this conference, to give you a background history family, is 10 to 15,000 people usually come. And this coyote has attended San Antonio, New York City, um, Washington, D.C., and Toronto so far. I've been a member since 2016. I've gone to all of them except for the two that were online during COVID. So my budget was mostly because of that, right? A, most, a vast amount of, of hard money. Um, well, like a small amount, 4300 for the stipends. And then there was like 9700 for um, the registration fees. So what I'm gonna do family is I'm gonna ask the divisions for help with the registration fees so I can open up that 9,300. And that's gonna go a long way to helping this coyote with my food and beverage budget. It's gonna go a long way to helping me get a jump start on my indigenous budget family. But this coyote still needs around $10,000. <laughs> so if you know any casinos, tribal entities, tribal businesses, tribally, Tribal, uh, indigenous individuals, Aboriginal individuals, right? This is my call, family. If you identify as Aboriginal, First Nations, Indigenous, um, we also have Indigenous peoples of North America, Indigenous peoples of the Pacific. We have um, any, I'm calling my global family to come help us. 
we are graduate students and we are struggling to represent indigenous life at the American Educational Research Association um, annual meeting family. And it's so expensive. And I have a dream. My dream is that I can get a keynote speaker. I can fund my amazing um, Native American designer who's going to do a fashion show with 20 plus outfits with indigenous models who are attending this show, um, who are literally attending the conference. Um, that I can provide flight for my amazing MC. Um, and then I can provide a good food. We want a good dinner. I don't know if you guys know, but if you're a grad student or an undergrad student and you're at a conference, that's how you eat is you go to these receptions and you stuff food in your face because you've blown all your money on hotel, the taxi or Uber from the airport and the freaking registration. So I'm saying family, help me feed my family on the on the night that we are going to showcase our identity and 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 uh are you proud of who we are <laughs> just say so if you know anyone who is generous of heart and can help out these amazing graduate students let me know all right family so in addition to being a published author an ivy league graduate a researcher, activist, revolutionary, and vlogger with over 20,000 followers on six, seven social media platforms, family. In an effort to decolonize, I am former pastor and now just Coyote of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critter Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Every day, family, during the week, we join here for a daily prayer, as well as this is how I end our yoga session. So join me, family. I am going to ask for less stress family we are going to talk to our ancestors and don't forget family when we pray in coyote's lodge we are simply asking the ancestors for their blessings and guidance and i like it family because it's this coyote's check-in i talk to my gammy all the time i'll be honest i talk to her four or five times a day but but when i'm praying um it's special it's a time for one, when we're burning the sage, right? We're cleansing our body. We're literally getting rid of the bad and shooing it out, right? Making it go away. I have my door cracked literally for this type of reason, family, because yes, I'm a spiritual person and there's energy in this world and we give it out and we take it in. Um, I'm definitely an empath, <laughs> very too empathetic for my own good sometimes. And it hurts. It hurts. And if you're a person with anxiety, you know what I'm talking about. Um, we go out of our way to be very pleasing to other people, right? We don't want to disappoint people. It hurts. It literally hurts us um, when we see other people hurt or when we can't do anything. It's, it, it, it feeds away, it chips away at us. So when we're praying and we're burning sage and we're talking to Gammy or whoever is special who has gone before in your life that you want to reconnect with, um, and you just ask them for help, right? And you tell them what's going on. You don't have to say it loud. You could say it in here. You could say it in here. Um, cause then low, but what it does is it empties out her head, <laughs> right? I am a survivor three times over family, rape and molestation is around vacation at Indian boarding schools, police brutality in 2008, where a cop arrested me for asking for his name and badge number when he was getting arrested during a routine traffic stop. Um, and then in 2018, when that fucking professor was literally using my parties, my community events, my academic events as a predatory hunting ground to hurt students. Since then, I've been taking down institutions, family, and my most recent, um, most stressful event was wrangling this giant, white, huge money, $27 million institution. Um, and that's hard. That is really hard. So family join the revolution. But when I talk to Gammy and I'm emptying out all that stuff, right? She helps me see clarity. She helps me get rid of like, Ugh, don't, don't worry about that. Think about this, right? Like I was over there bending over, stretching, right? My, my head touching my knees. And I was, she gave me ideas, right? This is how you, if they can cheat because they do this and this, you too can fend your budget, right? Find other people to take these line items because they also have budgets for that. Um, so yeah, when we empty our brains, our souls, and we talk to our ancestors, 
it helps us process what's happening, right? It's also part of a process of, of um, it's a coping mechanism, family, of dealing with our stress. Because then we're articulating what's happening to us and we're looking at it and it can, and even, you know what, sounding boards. If you have a trusted person in your life, right? My partner, poor babe. <laughs> Here's too many things that are going on in my life, everything. I can see his eyes glaze over when I get too academic-y, but um, it's helpful. And that's what we need, family. This is your daily reminder, it's COVID. Go get the support and call out for the help you need, okay? That's my two cents for today. <laughs> Gammy, it's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild. I love you, Gammy. I love you, and I'm excited because I'm going to go do my jujitsu today. I love you, Gammy. Take away the stress today. Today, our prayer is for less stress in our lives. Help us de-stress, Gammy. Help us figure out what we can get rid of, what doesn't serve us anymore. What burdens and unrealistic expectations we've been carrying around, right? What have we been trying to do? Trying to do crazy stuff and then get all sad when we can't because it's unrealistic, Gammy. So help us de-stress. Gammy, you were my first example of a warrior woman. I love you. I miss you so much. Ah, oh, guys, sorry. But my Gammy is in the corner. She's on the top. Ah, there we go. Top. Oh, she's actually both of them. My gammy's my favorite person. I mean, no. My gammy is my second favorite person. My partner is my first favorite person in family. He's like my soul, like for real. Sorry, gammy. You know that. Anywho, but my gammy is a light. Anyways, you are a warrior woman, gammy, and you fought fiercely for your children, for your community, for your family. <sighs> you were stubborn. And you didn't take shit from anyone. And you made sure that your kids were equal. Like you made, you, you fought for their opportunities. You made sure they went to school. You made sure that they had a fighting chance in this world. And that courage, that bravery, that ability to go against the grain, that was a superpower, Gammy. And can you send some of that resiliency to all of us around the world? Because we could use a lesson from that. You were beat up by the world. Doors were slammed in your face. Discrimination was a regular event in my Gammy's life. But it never stopped her once. Not ever. So I'm just saying, Gammy, you were a fine role model. And you send that to all of our communities. We could use a steel of spine. But allow us to do stress too, okay? <laughs> I love you, Gammy. And for us, I was shopping uh, KFC. Oh man, family, and the movies, my gammy. We'd go to two movies in a row. Oh, I love you, may you rest in peace. Dear Papa, it's your favorite coyote grandchild. I love you, Papa. Today, our very special prayer is to ask for the power of de-stressing our lives. Allow us to find those pockets of safety and love, those people who are gonna nurture us and lift us up. And may we also be there to support and love them in return. And to my great great grandpa, Pablo Beta, a true revolutionary and a sled up public statesman. Dear sir, I love you. I miss you. All of our ancestors, watch over us, please. We be crazy because the world is making us crazy. So allow us to find those ways. Maybe it's a five minute walk, right? Maybe it's community with nature. Maybe it's five minutes in the bathroom shutting out your pets or your children. I'm just saying, family. Let the ancestors guide us to those moments where we find our sanity, find our safety, find ourselves, and take a break to de-stress our lives. All right, family. I'm pretty jazzed. I am jazzed about today. I am going to go to my second ever jiu-jitsu class. I washed my gi. I put on my leggings. I'm ready to go. I mean, I'm going to take off my hair, take off my earrings, like, and then I'm going to go. It's at 11 o'clock. Ah, I'm so excited. Can someone be too excited about jujitsu class? <laughs> I've never felt like this about a class ever. Like, I've taken guitar classes, I've ballet classes, ballroom dancing classes, and it was like, oh my God, that was bad. It was bad family. I made him go to a PE class with me in college. <laughs> with the worst golf classes 
I've taken, you know, all kinds of academic classes. Nope. I have never felt this excited about a class ever in my life. It's so much fun. My number one tip family, if you want to go try jujitsu is do a lot of yoga. <laughs> like I had a prep first. There's no way I could have started this like two years ago even. I had to have been to here. Like I've been doing 15 miles of cardio for a couple, like a year now. Um, so yeah, you have to kind of train, but it's so much fun. And tip one, don't be afraid of falling. I was kind of afraid of falling the first couple falls. <laughs> and then I was just like, whatever, fall, it'll be fine. <laughs> I am off to go cause trouble somewhere else. I love you all. I'll see you later. <laughs>